good afternoon and welcome to another fabulous edition of CT Style. I'm Teresa Dufour. And I'm Sarah Cody. We always have a good show for you today. Uh, well, we always do, and today we certainly do. Absolutely. A firefighter in the kitchen making pastrami. Like massive pastrami Yeah, sandwiches. what's better than that? They're loaded, so we're going to try <laughs> some of that. Also, our friends from Foxwoods, they are here and they have a ton of upcoming events. Oh, yeah. If you want to do a girls' night mm -hmm. or if you're looking for date night, lots of options. Some good concerts. I'm not going to give it away, but we're going to hear about it soon. Yeah. Also, you had a busy night last night. I did. So I emceed a great event called Pino and Prevention. It's all in support of women's heart health put on by Hartford Healthcare. Really amazing event. Um, heart disease in women is kind of a silent killer. We don't talk about it a lot. That's Dr. Heather Swales in the right, right there. She really has led the way uh, with Hospital of Central Connecticut making a women's wellness center and raising awareness. There's always a comedian. It was Angel Rentis, the last picture. He's actually a nurse practitioner at the hospital and a stand-up comedian on the side. Perfect entertainment. So, tons of laughs, good information, yeah. a little bit of wine. It was a really nice night. Biggest crowd ever that I they've ever had. It's a packed house. 250 people, there. yeah, and it was it was fun. Oh, that's terrific. Yeah. And a great cause. Yes. Way to go. All right, uh, today News 8 and Kidda and along with Home Depot are teaming up on a program to make sure more of our friends and neighbors have smoke detectors in their homes. That's right. It's so important. And News 8 Chief Meteorologist Gil Simmons was the MC of an event in Windsor Locks. He joins us live now to tell us more about the program. Hey, Gil. I'm finally on the program. That's wow. right. You made it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, on a serious note, though, and especially on today's day of 9-11, of course, we want to thank all the firefighters and uh, everyone involved. I'm at the training fire academy here at Windsor Locks. We had Operation Save a Life, and uh, this is an event where communities come out. They get smoke alarms, CO alarms, and bring them back to their own communities to put them in and save some lives. And we couldn't do it without the generosity of so many people and so many organizations. And I have some great people on either side of me here. I first want to start with uh, James here from Home Depot. Home Depot, an important part of this as well. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, really a part of our culture coming out today, giving back to the community. Uh, throughout all of our stores in October, we're having Fire Safety uh, Awareness Month. So uh, we have uh, workshops, we have fire departments coming out to all of our stores. So please stop down and see what we got going on. All right, I want to thank you for your part too. You never know, we could be saving lives, yes, and I guarantee we are by doing this event. So thanks for your part. Thank you, sir. All right, and uh, my man Brian is here from JP McGuire, and you tend to see what happens after the fact, and I'm sure you've seen scenarios where an alarm would make a heck of a difference. Absolutely, there's no question about it. We see it countless times homes that catch fire and, and families that unfortunately don't get out. So we encourage everyone get a smoke detector. We can come in after the fact and fix your home. Most importantly, get out. But you see the severity and how key it is. Yes, absolutely. All right, and thanks for all you do. We Thank appreciate you. what you do to uh, make sure. this event go along as Thank well. You. Thank all you very right. much. And my man Alan is here, and we are at this training fire academy. This is a beautiful spot. I've never been here in Windsor Locks. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to thank you for hosting this event here, and you have one of the alarms right here. Yeah. Tell us a little about what it means to you to be part of this event and this spot right here. Well, it's a real honor to be able to host this event here at our facility. Uh, we like to show off the facility and, and demonstrate all the different sorts of training that we do throughout the year. And uh, our, our mission is to train firefighters throughout the state. And in, a, in addition to that, um, a huge portion of our mission is fire prevention. So we always want to support every fire prevention cause. And this is one of the best because it really gets important life-saving equipment into the uh, communities and it allows communities to really make a difference. Well, thank you for everything you do. You have a wonderful place here as well. And uh, I personally want to thank you for hosting it here this year as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a, it's a real pleasure. All right. So there you go. Awesome things happening with everybody that you see behind me and many more in the communities to save lives. And it's pretty warm out here. Back to you. <laughs> All right, Gil, thank you for the update. And it's such an important cause to be oh, involved it's great. in. And good to have Gil on CT Style. I love when he makes an yeah. appearance, right? <laughs> All right, today's dish is all presented by Stone Academy. Here is your cute moment of the day. So a little boy who was stuck in the Bahamas when Hurricane Dorian hit went back to school. So cute. Take a look at this big, warm welcome. Big hugs from his friends. The little boy and his mom were visiting family in the Bahamas when the storm hit. They rode it out at her grandparents' house. On Friday, after waiting 13 hours in line, they were able to get on a cruise ship back here to the U.S. 
Oh, and his Very buddies sweet. were so excited to see yeah. him, right? Okay, so the internet can't stop talking about all the big announcements from Apple's annual keynote that happened yesterday. That's right, it's pretty exciting. Apple has rolled out its latest batch of gadgets. The tech giant unveiled three new phones yesterday, the iPhone 11, along with the more expensive iPhone 11 Pro, and that one comes in two sizes. The company also revealed a new Apple Watch and a budget iPad. Hmm. Some new subscription services are also on the way, including Apple Arcade. That lets users play a whole bunch of video games for just $4.99 a month. That's a pretty good deal. Are you in the market for a new phone? No. Uh, <laughs> look at how cracked Joyce's. this screen is. Oh, and yeah. And I mean, my little girl dropped it in the toilet, so the home screen doesn't work oh, either. So You're going to get one of those? Maybe one of the Maybe. older versions will be more affordable yeah. now, right? Okay, so if you plan to see Madonna in concert, right, you're going to have to leave your smartphone at home. I'm going. We can talk more about that in a minute. <laughs> the Material Girls upcoming shows will be device-free. Fans who got to the concert will be required to put their phones in pouches ahead of the event. Anyone who was caught using their device during the show will be shown the door. And Teresa, yes, Madonna was my first concert when I was in eighth grade. That's pretty awesome. And I'm going on October third to see her in New York. I'm really excited that with is a girlfriend. Fabulous! What a show it's going to be. I think That's so like bucket too. list, and you've done it twice. My well, friend like booked us a hotel. She's like, Sarah, we need to dress up all fancy. Oh, We're like yeah. gonna have a big Madonna night. It's gonna be fun. Now, are you concerned about leaving your phone in a pouch or leaving it in the not. hotel room? I don't have a fancy phone, as we just talked about. <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna have to leave it in a pouch, but you know, whatever. Do you think um, people are gonna follow that? They're really gonna escort people out. I don't know, I feel like Madonna's serious business. Like I yeah. think they're going to have to follow it. I think if anyone could make that request, it would, <laughs> it would probably be, her. be Madonna. That, that's right. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, Viola Davis is the newest face of L'Oreal Paris. The 54-year-old actress calls this a monumental moment. I really like her, and Davis describes herself as a young, scrappy girl who didn't associate herself with the beauty and femininity that the makeup represents. Starting in October, Davis will appear on TV, digital, and print campaigns for L'Oreal Paris's age perfect line. She says she appreciates L'Oreal's moniker, I'm worth it, and that it's a mantra all little girls should be told. Now, previous ambassadors for L'Oreal Paris include Eva Longoria, Ellie Fanning, and Celine Dion. And Helen Mirren, who I really, really like, too. That's, a, that's, that's great. Yeah. Good for her. All right, a new